Hello and welcome to the first video on the black box. Today we're going to look at song mode and have our first test recording. So in the pads mode I have loaded up some pads that are st all stock instruments. They're all stock instruments because I wanted to test this with the, uh, with the samples that came with it. Obviously sound quality of the black box is going to depend on the sound quality of your samples. So today we're doing an audio check on the samples that are already loaded in there and hopefully black boxes included some high quality samples to listen to. So we're going to song mode but before we go to song mode we go to sequence mode and you can see that there's some active sequences in here. And it, when you go to song mode, song mode is turned on. So let's go back to sequence mode. And we don't want any sequences playing. So we're going to hit the off key. Then we're going to go to song. Turn song on. Now this is something I've already recorded. Uh, in the second half of this video we're going to do a, a little song recording to show you how to do it. But right now let's get started with what does this thing sound like? So I've got a song already set up and recorded in. Let's take a listen. Technology.
Okay, welcome back to the second half of this video. Now we're going to actually make our own song. So, for that, I'm going to go to a different preset. I'm going to load this first one. And again, all the samples are the ones that came with the black box, except for, except for this one. This one is the sample where I took my guitar and played one string into it. Just one string. It's not a multi-sample, it's just a single sample. But it gives you an idea of... Gives you an idea of, of uh, how nice it sounds with just a single sample over over uh, an entire octave. And this is not set on a high quality setting. This is this is just normal. There's a high quality setting for mapping samples, uh, mapping one sample across the, or multi samples, across the entire keyboard. As you can hear, as we get way out of range from this, from the C4 that I, uh, that's the original sampled, that's a C on my guitar. And as you can see, as we get farther, farther and farther out of range, sounds worse and worse. And that's when, if you go to the high quality sample, you can play that. Okay, so let's go to song recording. So again, I'm going to my sequences. Want to make sure they're all off before going to here. And we're going to delete the song that I have in there. So let's delete that. Now you can't delete. One. There's always going to be one in here. So, the way to get that is to just clear that, and now, you can see the bar running here. There's nothing, there's nothing in the song recorder at all now. So now, let's go 16 bars, so we got more time to change our, our, our sequences around as we record our song. And let's put in a, another one. And by default, it goes to eight bars, so I'm going to bring this to 16. So now we got 16 on each. Song recorder is lit. That means when I hit record, it's going to record to the song. So we go back to sequence, and we decide what sequence we want to be queued up, ready to go. You can do none, you can do all of them, whatever you want. And I'm going to simply have the bass beat start up and then the drums come in and measure later. So, we're going to get a four count beat in before we start, and then it's going to start recording. And the meter is up here. And let's add another sequence. See how that automatically went to section two? Let's see what happens when we play the song back. Oh, first we gotta make sure this is cleared out so that we hear the song as it was recorded. Here's the bass, then we measure later and put the drums in. And I added that guitar tone. see it's recording each sequence on and off as you trigger them. And see what happens when it automatically goes to section 2? 
It just it just drops everything out. You you can as far as I can tell, the only way you can do this is to record one section at a time and not let it follow through. So just to make sure, we're going to clear number two. And when he cleared it, it defaults back to eight. So we're going to put 16 back in there. Okay, so now we have section one recorded. And section two needs to be recorded. But this time, instead of having it, um, what I would have done in, on one is turn the loop on. By turning the loop on, it would not have automatically advanced to section two and caused any confusion. So we're going to leave the loop on for section two when we record that. So, song on, loop on, it's only going to record section 2 and not advance. Of course, it wouldn't advance anyway without a, another s section 3 down there. But on section 1, you saw it automatically advance to section 2. So, back to sequences. Now we're going to turn on the ones that uh, we want to hear when it comes back on. And this is what was playing when it stopped. So, that's what I'm going to play on section 2. And here we go. Turn this on off. Start. I have a long melody put in here. I'm going to change the bass beat. And add. Clear these out, go to song, and now we get to hear them together. That's the end of the song. Now on the, uh, the test file that I played you at the beginning of, me, of the uh, video, there was uh, eight sections in there. So as you build up the songs, you might want to slow them down at the end or have them end. This was just a demonstration. It's not a very good sequence. But the uh, first one I played is, is a more complete song. Now, if I want to save this song, I've got to go back to preset and save. And it's going to turn song off and go back here. Now, when I push play and song's off, now it's going to trigger these. So there's a very close relationship in play and record between sequencing, playing your sequence, and playing your song. So when you go to song mode, you want to hit off, which will clear, it will clear everything off, and then when you go to song and play, you'll hear just a song. Otherwise, when you play back to song, something may be, uh, something will be playing and get recorded. And that's song recording. Hope this helps.